Hey YouTube, um, in this video I'm going to show you how to do Twist Glitch version 2. Um, with this glitch you can see that you can turn objects completely on their side and you can turn them however way you want. Um, first what you want to do is go to the link in the description where you can go to a level giveaway where you will get this tool right here. Um, after you get that tool, just go into create mode and place it. Next, take out any object you want. I just chose the rocket ship for demonstration. And what you do is hold R2 and select the gate. And still holding R2, select whatever object. And then, when you select them both by uh, releasing R2, just resize them upwards and they will turn and the object you chose will be completely turned on its side. Uh, this is different from Twist Glitch version 1 which used the jetpack and if you do the glitch with the jetpack one it gets really really small which isn't really that bad but two it does not uh, turn it completely around and also it's pointed downward a little bit and it has really weird lighting so yeah this tool is a lot better um, the way it uh, the way it looks uh, changes how it turns so like the other one looked like this and when I turned it the back turned toward you but if you change it like this and you turn it then it will turn toward you like that and however long you hold it changes however much it turns so that one's facing toward you that one's facing away from you and if you turn it on its side then you can also turn it so you're looking at the top. Um, as you saw, sort of, if you were looking, um, the backs of objects sometimes, or most of the time, don't show up. Uh, this is what they did so uh, they could have less polygons and they just, they knew people wouldn't look back here, but this glitch allows you to. So you can see that they took some shortcuts and got rid of the back of them. Uh, this is also a good thing because uh, if, if they didn't do this, then Little Big Planet would have a lot more lag if there was a lot of lot objects nearby. So, yeah. Um, but some objects, they didn't do that. Um, and I'll show you that up here in a second. But uh, if, if you select it both, I'm sorry, I'm sort of backtracking here. Um, if you do this twice, you can do this multiple times on every object. If you do this a few times, you can look at the exact back of it. And you can turn it around completely. So yeah, here's a better view of what I showed you earlier. So yeah. Um, and here's an example of an object that does have a back and it's really interesting of what it has on the back so if you turn the matchbox and then do the tool again and turn it again you may need three sometimes but this is two is fine for now um, you'll notice there's a secret message on the back of this about Jack Griffiths and I did some research on this, and it turns out this is an actual matchbox that really exists. And uh, they just imported it into Little Big Planet. So that's some interesting trivia for you. Um, along with twisting any object, this glitch also allows you to turn um, glued pieces of material. So. And what this does is when you select them like that, 
they actually turn into the 3D layers. So like this, you can make your own 3D cascades, and you can you can go to comp you can search Comfer MC on YouTube, and he has tutorials on how to use the 3D layers. So uh, yeah, you made your own uh, 3D cascade. So um, that's all I have to show you. Uh, credit to LVE underscore MSG for uh, the glitch. And yeah, hope you make a bunch of cool things of it. Bye.